starting off by saying I've already made like five minutes of this video my SD card had a glitch set air shut down went to pull the footage off of it to see where I need to take off from there and it was all gone <coughs> this was originally wrapped so you cut it right there this is the box it comes in but this I have to say it all over again is the Ender extender kit that makes your base a ten, uh, 410 I believe it is 410 by 410 does the the build plate does not extend it the height up I don't really like um, printing for over 17 hours because everything just gets uh, tired of printing and I have skips or something um, I could slow down the print but I don't like going over 17 hours so I bought the extend ender extender kit that goes up off of Amazon it was a lot cheaper than off of this guy from Texas and then this is the Ender Extender kit with a glass plate in here somewhere that uh, does the base plate. I'll hopefully put a link in the description below. Hopefully this is still recording. <sighs> Finally got my light set up and everything and then I have problems like that. And now you guys won't stand up by yourself. There you go, I think you're standing up. So, so far we've gotten this far. <laughs> I was hoping it would come in like a uh, foam formed box, but it's not. So I already went ahead on the first video and I was opening these saying that they're very nice and strong. So this was in there, I already pulled out that one. So there's three in here, this is what was on top of it. Feels like the same quality of material, same kind of stickiness where it shows your fingerprints. There is the pre-drawn, pre-drawn, pre-drilled holes, a little nifty holes there on the end each one has that I'm probably moving too fast for you but I don't want this to be too long of a video I'm gonna be unboxing it in this video and if this video is like 50 hours long most likely I unboxed it oh and this was also on the top I was worried if it came with the wires or not um, we'll get to the wires at the end of the video so here's another bunch of stuff I'm trying to keep them separated because I've been told this takes a whole weekend to do and I'm not looking forward to it didn't take too long to come in the mail about a week and a half uh, they come with shipping tracking but the tracking was uh, as soon as I found out I had the tracking it was already at my door that kind of sucked it also said that it was two weeks out and I bought it on Black Friday um, got $25 off which is still nice any money saves nice when putting this together I'm gonna hopefully notice this when I do it but that is the wrong side see how that's wallered out for a bigger hole for a nut or something or nut a bigger bolt head this is most likely gonna go down not up because a bolt couldn't go through that area that one's pretty right on the edge I feel like that one's not on the edge uh, you do get like a 30-day warranty but um, my credit card says if you ever bought something and it didn't work right let us know give your money back there's a nice beam I'm assuming that goes across the bottom from side to side over here would be your display over here would be your left side where your z-axis is and everything I did forget to mention this is for the Ender 3 Ender 3 regular not Ender 3 Pro so one side of them are threaded, one side is not. That kind of worries me a little bit because I'm thinking this goes like this. Could go like this, I guess, but I'm still pretty sure there goes a plaque on the back side. Um, there is two holes right there. Let's just hope there's instructions somewhere. What's this? This is my address at the top just in case it gets lost and it's saying it is a 410 by 410 by 4 millimeter along with the Ender Extender so it does show I have two products in here hopefully we'll find them I'm assuming this is the glass oh that's light I went ahead and bought the glass because I have awful time a lot of it has to do with humidity 
and I have to use I use a magnetic um, build plate with a uh, just stick glue. I have no problem. Now when I take the exact same thing and leave it at my buddy's house, which lives in Pennsylvania, which has a different humidity, humidity is that a word? Different humidity. I don't have to use anything. I can print on the plate all day long and it sticks perfectly. That is a nice chunk of aluminum. Um, most of the price of this is probably going to be because of this chunk of aluminum here. Shouldn't be warped or anything. I gotta pull that up to look at it. I must say it is warped. <laughs> it's warped pretty bad. It actually warps down and up over here. This side's high, this side's high, and this whole thing is like a, it's almost, it's almost like a uh, hot dog. I'm sure there's a huge glare on that. I like that them are recessed, recessed in. And put that to the side. Hopefully we're getting down to a, that's it. You pay all that money and that's it. I love doing live videos because they get my live reaction. I guess I guess I can't expect much, but that's almost two hundred dollars right there. Just for everything except what I just opened, that's a hundred and some dollars. I don't I don't know about that. I could go to 2040 and buy the stuff myself and cut it out for that. That's what that stuff's called, 2040 or 2020 or something like that. I live 40 minutes from where they make it. <laughs> Not for this particular stuff. I live next to a place that makes this this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. They make this stuff for uh, Chrysler. Because Chrysler is very heavy in my area and uh, computers run on this. Just like this robot does. But the computers that build your cars and all that run on them things. I think it's called 2040. 2020, whatever that building says. Ain't that fancy of a building, but... I just wanted to buy it this way because it's all pre-drilled. No hassle. Now this should be a big chunk of glass. Since I don't have it built yet, I'm just going to peel up a corner and fill the fill what's down there. Definitely has a type of grip to it. I don't know how long it'll last. I've never went with glass, but I'm going to have to on this one. It's a big hunk of glass. I do like that it says Creality on it. Um, that's a bit interesting as the rest of the kit does not come from Creality. And um, Creality don't sell a kit like this that I know of. So that's interesting. It's not just the sticker, I just peeled it up a little bit. It's the glass. So they spent some bucks there. Definitely liking that. I'm gonna put that back in there. We're gonna go over the cords. I guess you are paying for the cords too. That's kind of expensive. That's a big build plate. So. That's about how big you're going to be building. That's huge. Don't look like it would take me all weekend. I'm a bit all, uh... That's my friend. Let's get you down to a lower high. There we go. Are you still recording? Good. Just give me a little problem making sure you don't fall over. Okay, here we go. Let's see what all's in here. Let's... As we figure out what they are, let's put them back in. Yep. Whatever this is. And this is 3D printed. Can you see, yeah, can you see the lines? And um, them lines also indicate how in, it, it's the line that goes across the reinforcement on the inside. If you don't see a line, it's either zero reinforced inside there or it's totally reinforced in there. So like 90% or something. That to me is less than 10%. So whatever this is, it is built very, very cheap. 
and that feels like it'll fall out. I think that's supposed to fall out. It's barely held on there. So whatever this thing does, because there is no instructions other than installation guides available. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like how cheap it is. It must not do much. I'm sure it holds wires. Oh, okay. Now I remember what this does. I did watch the installation video a little bit. This goes onto your heat plate underneath, holds your wires out. That way they aren't getting caught because it's a lot bigger build plate now. Okay, actually I'm going to put them to the side. A longer tube, mine's direct drive. Um, with it being bigger like this, we're probably going to have problems with the Z-axis sagging or once it's done it falling down or something. But it's cool they give you another one of these. I don't quite need it, but maybe you guys do. Some old ribbon cable. <laughs> um, that's looking like for the screen itself. It's nice it's all one piece and not an extension cable. Extension cable would have saved them a little bit of money, but it wouldn't have looked as good for us. Here is the power supply extender. That's pretty nice. Looks like these two just plug into the board. That's actually nicer than what the board has in it now. So then we're going to slide into your motherboard. And that one most likely is just going to plug exactly where your old plug is, but into the power supply. I think. Don't hold me to that. So most likely, it, nope, 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 I lied. So that's going to plug into your heat board, which you're using the same exact heat board, heat pad, whatever, underneath the build plate. Uh, you're using the same one. They do offer bigger ones, but you're going to be using a lot more power. And there's going to be a lot of inconsistencies where the heat's at with the smaller uh, build. But I do a lot of PLA more than I do ABS and PTG, PETG, and uh, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this. So then them go into the inverter which is really what it is on the side it goes from 110 down to 24 volt i think this is it's a nice 14 gauge wire so that's pretty nice uh it's not 16 or 18 gauge but uh yeah i've had that apart before and it's not not as hard as you think i should have the video soon or on the end of this one longer belts hopefully for the bed Y-axis belt, that's pretty nice. It says it's for the 400 Pro. Here we got the X-axis belt for the 400 No Pro. I'm sure these are all pre-done kits, so he just kind of throws them together. Got some miscellaneous bolts. I would assume we use all the same bolts we already have because all we're doing is lengthening each beam. So uh, we almost don't even need screws. It is always nice to have these ones here, though. If they're not adding anything and I get to keep these, thank goodness. I like these T-screws that go inside the track. Them are pretty nice. we got a couple of them. Looks like three, four. We've got four of them. These look like... These are beveled a little bit on the end. So uh, they may do something with the board, the aluminum board we've seen that was pretty warped. May do something with that to extend it a little bit further. This is... Uh, Looks like we're going extension Kate. Let's see if we got another one. We are going... Okay, so this is for the little fan. I'm assuming... I've just done a little bit of repair on mine before. Looks like um, everything on the head is going to be extended. But it takes more than just this to extend it. There's two fans up there. So uh, I may have to lengthen another one. So you have two fans on your print head, at least on the Ender 3. Uh, a fan on the side for the cooling of the tip and one that cools the whole hot end. And this is one e extension. And then this, it looks like it's gonna be for the, yeah, the Y. And this is probably gonna be for the Y, yeah. So this is for the very top. So where is our other extension for the other fan. We have one more fan, but I've already replaced it and had to put an inverter in, so I'll be all right. But here is just a longer wire. It don't even look long enough. I guess it's, a, yeah, it's only going longer. It's not going higher. If you go higher, the kid will have a longer one of these, so it goes up high. So that's that. 
like how they're still um, coated like that, just like factory. Pretty nice job. Then here, to the main board. I loved seeing these on someone's video. So these do not slide in there, but this is for your board. So your board, heat board, hot plate, whatever, comes out. You take them wires off, stick them in there, and then push these down and it crimps and it extends them how long we need them to go. So that way uh, you don't have to take your board off all the way, don't have to resolder anything, mm -hmm. rewire anything. All of it's right there. And that's it for the unboxing. Very simple stuff. We got three. We got three. with absolutely no instructions on paper they totally rely on you to scan their little card which is nice because it is a video and uh, they hope you can do it that way so thanks for watching and stay tuned for ow, if my body doesn't fall apart stay tuned for a assembly video on the Ender 3 regular not pro